Thank you very much for inviting me to talk about the French uh, patients in, in France. Uh, so I'm uh, Natalie Seta. I'm not a, a clinician. I'm ah, a biologist. I'm talking <laughs> on behalf of our group, uh, uh, which is made, of course, of the physician here. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Um, Pascal Delonlay, which wor who works in uh, Hôpital Necker in Paris. This is Paris. This is France. You know where every everybody knows where France is. Okay, no problem. <laughs> you know where Paris is also. I didn't put the Eiffel t uh, Tower, but it's uh, it's where the Eiffel Tower is. And so this is Paris with all the hospitals in Paris. So this is the Hospital Necker where Pascal Delonlay and Vasily Vallenalopoulos. Uh, are working and especially are doing uh, in the metabolic disorder unit and working a lot on CDGs and we, my team and me, we are working in, in Hôpital Bichat, this is in north of Paris, uh, with Thierry Dupré, Sandrine Vieux-Mébarreau and Arnaud Brunel. So in fact to work uh, on CDG you need some, some uh, certain uh, uh, knowledge of course, in clinical and biochemical uh, biological activities and for the metabolic disorders uh, physicians and the gly glycobiologists also. At the beginning, the people now working on glycobiology w were working on acquired disorders, not on uh, congenital disorders. And of course, you need some research activities and this is where uh, the European countries made a great effort in making these uh, networks as Euroglycanet or Euro CDG now. So, in France, uh, who did the work? At the beginning, it was the Professor Jean-Marie Saudubré and then Professor Arnold Munich uh, that both worked in Hôpital Lecaire. Uh, and uh, since uh, 1993, they, they looked for patients that were first tested abroad, especially in Belgium, and then um, still for the clinical diagnosis, Pascal Delonlay put on a national referral center for metabolic diseases, still in Necker. For the biological diagnosis, well, from 1995, it, the biochemical diagnosis was made in uh, Bichat. And then uh, from 1998, there was the molecular diagnosis that was proposed for the patients. So. In fact, uh, this is for the historical part. In fact, now in France, uh, there are six uh, different national referral centers for metabolic disorders. Uh, one in Lille, two in Paris, one in Nancy, one in Lyon, and one in Marseille. There are five different laboratories that do the biochemical diagnosis. Here the, it's the yellow stars and two that are doing the molecular uh, diagnosis, one in Lyon and one in Paris hours. Just to tell you how it uh, got on, for example, in Bisha Hospital, in my hospital, we, have, we, are, we do a lot of screening. I would say that we have screened more than 40,000 samples from the beginning, and there are about uh, 158 families with CDGs in France, uh, with, we offer prenatal diagnosis, of course, uh, and we also monitor the um, do manose biological man monitoring for uh, CDG one B or MPI CDG. So these these families, where do they come from? If we look at the uh, C French uh, CDG uh, community, well, they, they come from all part of France. Uh, and some come from abroad, even here from Corsica, which is not on the, on the map, but uh, they, they really come from all over France. Most of the, the patients are children or teenager. But what was interesting is, in fact, uh, this is are the date of birth of the children, of the, of the individuals. Uh, and we began here the, the diagnosis. And so, in fact, uh, these are all the patients that have been prospectively uh, diagnosed, and these are the ones that were diagnosed when they were already adults. So this is just the fact, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, figure is the only the reflect of uh, the time we began the diagnosis. So for the French uh, f uh, community, 
median age of diagnostic is two, uh, two and a half year, but it can be from the first day of life to, the thir to, to a patient who was already 38 years old, like in uh, Brazil. Leading sign for screening is hypotonia, of course, and then mental retardation. Most patients have visited the National Referral Center for Metabolic Disease, uh, one of the six ones. And presently, most patients visit doctors in a hospital in addition to their family doctor. Some families have more than one affected child. Some families, nine of them have two affected child, one of three, one of four, and one has two cousins in France. Most of the patients live in their families. Two, one half uh, uh, is going to adapted school, one half goes to normal school, and, a, and one, uh, one uh, fourth, and so, uh, sorry, and one half doesn't, one fourth doesn't go to school at all. And most patients benefit at least with one rehabilitation. So this is the French community. Now, how are they dispatched, displayed in the different uh, subtypes? Uh, well, in fact, uh, these are the different CDG types. Uh, and you see that most of the French CDGs are PMM1 uh, patients. PMM2, sorry, uh, CDG patients. How do we uh, do the screening, the, the, the diagnosis strategy? Well, as it was said before, uh, in, f in presence of unspecific clinical signs, uh, while there will be uh, uh, the clinicians will ask for a screening for, or a CDG screening. First of all, it will be done by biochemistry with the screening CD. Uh, we do Western blood, but it's like uh, the, the normal one. If it is positive, we will uh, exclude galactosemia and uh, in heredity fructose intolerance. And then we will measure the PMM and PMI activity in the leukocytes of the patients. If it's decreased, then we will do the uh, molecular testing. If it is not, then it enters the uh, research lab. That was up to now, but since there are some really new molecular techniques, it's, it's going to be ch changed. The first part will still be the same, but it, uh, at the t when we arrive at the point that we have normal PMM or PMI activities, and then we will go to the uh, next generation sequencing. And then afterwards, the biochemistry will come uh, in the research lab only just to to verify that the, what has been uh, found on the molecular uh, level is the real uh, situation. Finally, I told you we have to do some research work, of course, not only uh, do diagnostic, but also do some research work. What I would like to say is that presently, we are working on adult uh, on the uh, on adult CDG. How to how are they? Where are they? How, how do they manage? And we are also go, uh, doing a follow up on PMM2 CDG at the European level. Thank you very much for your attention.